Good day, my schoolers. You are welcome back to my school channel, and my name is Abela. Do not forget, in this channel, we are tackling the Jan CBT past question for the subject chemistry in the year 2014. Do not go anywhere. Stay with us, and do the right back. much welcome back to my school channel in this video segment we are solving questions 31 to 45 so let's begin with question 31 a few drops of sodium hydroxide solution the sodium sodium oxygen hydrogen sodium hydroxide solution was added to an unknown salt forming a white precipitate okay which is insoluble in excess solution the cation likely present is what okay so you should note this zinc um, lead and aluminium, they are photeric. So that is why they are soluble in excess solution of this. All right. Why for calcium ion? It is insoluble. So what we are looking for is insoluble. We've mentioned that this, this, and this, they are soluble in excess solution of this, but this is insoluble. So this tells you that the cation likely to be present is calcium ion. So the correct option here is option C for calcium ion. Question 32. The general formula of alloalkanes where X represents the halide is what? So talk about um, alloalkanes. You're talking about a compound whereby an halogen, a halogen rather, uh, replaces one of the hydrogen on any of the carbon. So that is telling you that this X represents the halogen family we are talking about, which we refer to as the halide. So the chemical formula. The general formula rather for this um, for the alloalkanes will be CnH2n plus one, where X represents the halogen present. So the correct option here is option D, CnH2n plus one X. Thirty-three. The half cannot obtain from the production of soap is what. So when you talk about soap production, I can just give it in a simple. Um, equation like this. Um, talk about fat and oil plus caustic alkali is going to give you that soap, okay, plus glycerol. The other pack name for glycerol is propane. One, two, try all. So the correct option here is option C for glycerol. Question 34. Ethane is passed through a hot tube containing organo nickel catalyst to produce water. That is going to produce benzene, okay? This is a kind of um, reaction whereby it requires three units, three alkyne units, okay? And uh, of course, a metal catalyst is required. And here we are having organo nickel catalyst. So the correct option is option D for benzene. Do not forget that you can get any of the my school tools. All you need to do, use that link in the description below. When you click it, it's going to transport you to the my school website where you can get the my school mobile app for your Android devices or the my school software for your laptop. So join me as we solve question 35. Due to the unstable nature of a time, it is stored by dissolving in where, okay? That is propanol. All right, some uh, have the presentation as acetone. So this is due to the nature of ethane, and it's not just uh, many kind of um, cylinder. It's a special kind of cylinder, and under certain conditions. So the correct option here is option D for propanol. Please do not forget that you have to hit that like button. Also click on subscribe button, and always tap on bell notifications so you can get alerts immediately we upload the next video clips. Number thirty-six. We have um, the process of converting starch to ethanol is what? That process is fermentation. You no know, fermentation is just that uh, slow decomposition by microorganism. Talking about yeast now, okay? Uh, whereby you break down larger molecules like starch into smaller molecules like ethanol. So basically fermentation, you're talking about um, raw materials that contain things like starch or sugar. And due to the presence of yeast, um, they produce alcohol, so that is fermentation. All right, so the correct option here is option C for fermentation. The process of converting starch to ethanol is referred to as fermentation. Cracking, you're talking about petroleum distillation, your separation techniques, then you talk about oxidation. All right, so the correct option here, let's not be around, is um, option C for fermentation. Question 37. 
the polymer used in making carrier lights is what? Papex. Okay, so um, you know this um, this papex. It is strong. It is hard. It is transparent. Okay, it has glossy kind of um, um, surface. All right. So it is used in place of glass. All right, and the the uses they include um, carrier lights, street lamps, fish tanks, contact lenses, windshield, wind paints, and what have you. So the correct option here is option A for Papex. Thirty-eight. CH three COO C two H five. This is ethylethylene. No, it is an ester. Ester. Uh, with water, okay. So this reaction you are seeing here, this is ethanoic acid plus ethanol. This is esterification. All right. Um, reaction between um, ethanoic acid and ethanol to form an ester. So that is esterification. Now take note of this. Esterification is actually a slow process and is even reversible at room temperature. So you need to catalyze this reaction by the presence of high concentration of hydrogen ion. So the purpose of the purpose rather of hydrogen ion in the reaction above is to what? Is to make sure that um, you increase the yield of the product. That is you make sure that this is being formed. Alright? So um, the reaction leading to the formation of ester, that is esterification. Going backwards, that is hydrolysis. So what you are seeing here to this place is hydrolysis. So this is to increase the yield of the product. And the product we are looking at now is the formation of esters from the process of esterification here. So the correct option here is option A. 39. Hydrocarbon has an empirical formula CH and a vapor density of 39. Okay? So determine its molecular formula. So just recall that... Um, Two times vapor density equals relative molecular mass of the gas or the vapor we are talking about. Or you can say vapor density equals RMM over 2. So we are given the vapor density as 39. So that is 2 times 39 equals this, right? Relative molecular mass. 2 times this, that should give you 78, right? So we have this. So remember for the empirical formula we are going to have, we are told the CH, right, in two brackets N equals 78, all right. So if we expand, remember that um, we have um, C, that will be CN, right, plus HN, right, equals 78. So our C carbon is 12, that's 12N, plus hydrogen, that's 1N, or N to put properly equals 78 so 12 plus this that makes let's move up that makes 13 n equals 78 so we have to divide both sides by 13 so n equals 13 divided by 70, uh, 78 divides 13 so that should give us 6 how do i know 6 times 3, that is 18. You carry 1. 6 times 1, 6 plus 1, that's 7. So if n is 6, that means Cn, Hn would be where n is 6, C6, H6. All right. So we have C6, H6. So let's go back to the screen and see if we can find this particular hydrocarbon. C6, H6. So, if you look through the options provided, where do we find that? We find that in option D. So, option D is the correct option. What stops you from asking your questions right now? All you need to do, use that link in the description below. It's going to make you contact our solution providers on the MySchool website. So, ask your questions right now. So, join me as we solve question 40. Polystyrene is widely used as packaging materials for fra fragile objects during transportation because of its what? This is because of its eye compressibility. All right. So um, this is also needed. This uh, particular uh, feature, characteristics, or property is needed um, when you are packing materials as, as well. Packing materials, um, transporting fragile objects like we have here. This is due to its eye compressibility. Uh, we should know that polystyrene is also a clear, transparent uh, material. Okay, and um, other uses for polystyrene, we are talking about um, uh, those disposable cups that are being used to serve items 
like your drinks outside, um, using making um, fixtures for lightnings and the rest because of its electrical insulation. So there are several uses for polystyrene. So the correct option here is due to its high compressibility, polystyrene is widely used as packaging materials for fragile objects during transportation. Okay, so the correct option is option D. You may have better steps, explanations, or contributions on how to tackle any of the questions we have solved so far. Please would like to know. All you need to do is to use that comment section below. Indicate the question number and the explanations you'd like to share. 41. The process of converting linear arcanes to branch chain and cyclic hydrocarbons by eating in the presence of a catalyst to improve the quality of petrol is referred to as what? Okay, specifically I would say it is referred to as catalytic reforming. Okay, it is um, an isomerization process. Okay, um, this is also aimed at um, you know talking about increasing or yes increasing the octane number as well. You know, the higher the octane number, the better the quality of petrol. We are talking about and this also enhances the anti-knock activities as well so all of this put together is just to improve the quality of petrol and that particular process is referred to specifically as catalytic reform so the correct option here is option c 42 the petroleum fraction that is used in eating finances in industries is what okay that is your diesel oil all right, so it's also the diesel oil is also used to power electric generators, engines of um, train, buses, boats, and uh, what have you. Gasoline, we are talking about your petrol, okay? So, you know, petrol is also used to power electric generators, um, cars, and what have you. We have um, kerosene, okay? Um, kerosene is used as a domestic fuel, your cooking stoves, uh, even as fuel for aviation, aviation yes certain kind of uh, aircraft as well. So you're lubricating or you're talking about lubricants. All right, so the correct option here is option A for diesel oil. Question 43. So we have um, this structure. The impact nomenclature of the compound above is what? So at first, let's count. We have um, one, two, three, four. That is both. So what is the group we are looking at? That is OH, that is um, all all right so that we're talking about boot and all so now let's now find uh, the positions of this okay so remember in naming um hydrocarbons okay remember the alphabetical order it's very necessary so that means b comes before c all right so if we count from here closest to here this is one two three so that is three bromo two chloro boot and all so 3 bromo 2 chloro I know this is a very controversial one. We are waiting for your presentations and explanations as well. But the most valuable option here is option B. 3 bromo 2 chloro 44. In the diagram above, the function of the concentrated H2SO4 is to do what? Okay, we are talking about the laboratory preparation of chlorine gas. All right, and this is from um, this whole setup represents um, oxidation of HCl plus potassium tetrazomanganate seven. All right, so um, so we are now asked the function of this concave to so for is to do what? This is actually to dry the chlorine gas. So the correct option here is option B to dry the gas. Question forty five. We have um, this diagram. Z in the diagram above represents what? Okay, so at first, this is an endothermic reaction. If you study the diagram carefully, okay, this shows you activation energy. These are the reactants, these are the products, and this is your entropy chain, and it is positive, of course. So, heat of the reaction as well. So, the correct option here is option A, heat of the reaction, heat of reaction. So, option A is very correct. Right there, we've come to the end of this video segment, but there are more video clips to come. Perhaps you want to know where we are sourcing this question from. Of course, use the link description below. It's going to take you to the My School website. While you are doing that, do not forget that you always have to hit the like button. Also, click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notification so you can get alerts immediately we upload the next video clips just for you.